What's going on with y'all? It's your boy, Mr. 860. And again, we got Tammy. Um, we got boy E3Z. You know, it's another thing. Another yeah, Thursday, we in the building. Uh, Tammy, how, how your week went so far? Huh? So how your week going so far? My week going good. How about you? Can't complain. Hold up. Who? I swear I heard a, a echo. Maybe that was me. It's Thirsty Thursday, y'all. Thirsty. Thursdays. Class Clowns Podcast. How your week go, E? Uh, you know, I'm chilling, B. You know, I'm in a place to be, so it is what it is. We good money. And if y'all looking at your boy and if I look sleepy, nigga, I just woke up. That's what that AC do to you ass in, the, in this heat. That should have put your ass in a coma. So we're going to get right into it. Today's topic which is a good topic um, because it's touching current topics. Um, And I think the way the younger minds think, we might be surprised how many people have a different opinion on the topic. So let's get right to the question. I'm going to ask a question to both of y'all. I'm going to let y'all both answer, and then we're going to go from there. So I'm going to ask you first, Tammy. Can you wait? Hold on, I have to. I have to stop this, yo. Why do you? Why do I always gotta go first? Ladies first. I'm a gentleman. You know that? I can't have our fans cursing us out. You know. Oh. All right, come on, proceed. All right. So, can you, as a female, have an affair while being in love or in a loving relationship? So, it's two parts of that. One, can you have an affair? Of course, you can have an affair, but <laughs> Should you be having a fear even though you are in a loving relationship with another person? So your answer, Tim. Of course not. Okay. Not if you're not if that's established between the parties that everybody is monogamous and you are in a committed relationship and nobody is stepping outside that relationship. Of course not. You should not be doing it. Does it happen? Absolutely. For various reasons, but that comes, you know, from relationship issues okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it right there on that because we're gonna touch on the reasons in a few and Ezel, same question can you as a man have an affair while being in a loving relationship with another female no nah, and uh shit you know me dude definitely uh many mistakes along the way but that can't be it's even one or the other, you know what I'm saying? Respect yourself, respect that person, and the time involved. So, although, you know what I'm saying, I am uh, an offender on top of an offender, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a serial hey, nigga, I'm a three serial strikes fan. already, nigga. <laughs> that shit ain't cool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, being married, I can tell you right now, not only is it cool, it's also suicidal. You fuck around and you cheat on your wife or your husband, you bound to get killed in 2020. Let's touch on some reasons, Tim. Let me go back to you because you brought it up, and I I think we're going to have fun with this. What could be a reason, a legitimate reason, so you in love? I'm going to put a situation out there for both of y'all. Yeah, tell me. So you in love with a guy. And he's your he's your rock, but sexually, he's not satisfying. Now, your relationship is not based off just sex, but when it comes to that part of the relationship, he's not delivering for whatever the reasons may be: energy, size, just not it's just not there no more. If that was the case, does that? kind of give you an excuse to step outside the box no it never gives you an excuse to step outside of the box but have i been an offender absolutely i've been an offender in that category (laughs) but it doesn't make it right so i can't i can't sit up here and be like oh it's the right thing to do but it is you know it ship you know it happens it happens typically why 
out of all the things you can think of, what's nine and ten times if you with somebody and you stepped outside of bed, what's the number one reason somebody a female will probably do it? Boredom, lack of attention. I respect that. So pretty much it's like, you know, I'm tired of being in this motherfucking house. Nigga ain't saying nothing about my hair. He ain't saying nothing about my outfits. And nigga never giving me compliments. And then one day I'm out with my girls chilling in the club and I'm getting all this damn attention. That might make me want to jump on something. Yeah. Okay. A lot of, you know, a lot of stuff happens at work too. You get them little work husbands and work wives and shit. And, and you end up spending more time with the person, I'm serious. You get niggas killed. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I'm, I'm dead ass. You, you start spending more time with the person that you're working with. That become your, your you know, they, they call it your little work husband or your little work wife. Your work wife, your work husband. <laughs> that it would become y'all motherfuckers loud ass shit. That is fuck. Hell no. Fuck around with your phone ring. She be like, who your work wife? <laughs> fuck around my ass and be at this job, motherfucker. And at the middle of the day, like y'all joined to come and bring lunch. <laughs> so, E, what might be some reasons for men to step out a loving relationship with his wife, particularly one who done had his kids? What would be maybe one or two reasons why he might consider it? Like I said before, man, um, it ain't no reason, bro, especially if it's a loving relationship and, you know, you got all this shit going on now. Mind you, you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty, so I've had the opportunity to fuck up, you know, royally a bunch of times. And, you know, having been in this situation not too long ago where I felt like I had outgrown all the bullshit and I was ready to do the right thing, and then for whatever reason, you know, no reason of my own power, but shit came to a stop. I just, I found myself at one point saying, damn, um, I can't imagine having ever made somebody feel this way before. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I never really, never really, you know, had been that situation, always been the getter, not the one that got got. So I'm now I'm in this situation on the other line, on the other side of things, and I'm like, damn, I can't believe, like, I'm, I'm going through this shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce, Jasmine, Sullivan songs and shit. What the fuck? And if I made anybody, you know what I'm saying? if I made anybody feel like this even for ten minutes, damn, that's fucked up. Damn, damn shit, you you in the house, tiger, bears, and lions and shit. Look at lions and tigers and bears and <laughs> my fucking best I never best I never had, my fucking my fucking me myself and I, my fucking trust me, I'm in there listening to Justin's Child, everything fucked up. But again. Looking back now, I was like, damn, I, I probably, not probably, but I definitely should have handled things totally different than I did. Even if I caught my broad in the bag with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? As upsetting as that is, you don't just go fuck somebody else because that ain't really making the situation better. Not only are you violating your situation, you know, your personal self and the person that you with, but the person on the side just getting fucked too. So you just fucking everybody in one fell swoop, so. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you can't talk it out, then you need to just pack it up. Let me ask y'all this because now. But you learn that, but E, you learn that and you learn that in hindsight. You know, that come from maturity and that come from experience. That unfortunately is a lesson that a lot of young people or even people that's watching don't know yet. They still they still in that phase where they feel like, you know, they want to have their cake and eat it too. You know, they don't they don't have that that level of mentality where you know you know what that feels like so you know you trying to not do that to the other person you know oh for sure and and that's why i'm trying to be adamant about it you know each time because you know i could be laughing and joking because you know i mean shit, it is what it is but you know for the people that that do know that side you know what i'm saying and they probably like this you know what I'm saying versus the people that don't i'm just trying to be a hundred like yo don't get me wrong. I mean, lads know me better. Yeah, come on, I love the ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? I love them tall. You know what I'm saying? Short, tall. You know what I'm saying? Skinny, fat, white, black. Don't even matter. It's on. But I'm just straight. <laughs> Homes like Lil Wayne. He want them all. Listen, man. You already, but it's, it's, it's like, 
It's the time and place. If you want them all, then just be single. Don't don't have nobody. Don't be holding nobody down, wasting their motherfucking time. My pops told me something a long time ago, and that nigga ain't really tell me shit. So I hold on to the shit that he tell me. You know what I'm saying the little shit that he did give me. And I remember in school, I was I was just now I was just starting to you know what I'm saying get a little notoriety and shit, getting girls and shit, having a little calls. I was a little late to the club in that in that aspect, but when it, when it was popping, it was popping. And he used to always get so aggravated, like, watch one day, you gonna learn. What one of these days, one of these girls gonna kill you. And I'm thinking, like, nigga, you easy to flavor freak. Like you Zeke the flavor freak. Like what the fuck did you talk about? But he was trying to tell me from experience, but he just ain't know how to fucking talk to me. You know what I'm saying? But looking back, I see what he's saying. Like, like you started off before. You know, your wife or somebody that's just a little bit more invested, they might take your ass out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy Steve McNair. God, see. Bro, Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was about to interrupt you. Go ahead, finish, E. Oh, so I just figured, like, now, like I said, and like Tammy said, it is easier now on the other side of things and being, you know, older. But um, if you can learn this shit and, you know what I'm saying, Tuck this jewel away while you young, man. Kudos to you because it'll make shit better for you down the line. I'm not saying that you could be you could be a good girl or a good guy and somebody ain't gonna shit on you. I mean, that's just the risk that you run. But as long as you do your part, you know what I'm saying? You you, you good money. It, it, do y'all do y'all think one, do y'all think once a cheater, always a cheater? Or do y'all feel like it's specific to a relationship or a situation? No, I think it just right. comes down to wanting to be better. Wait, what you say, E? I said it just come down to wanting to be better, man, because I could justify every little thing that I did, you know what I'm saying, in my mind, but at the end of the day, there is no justification for, you know, disappointing No, I'm somebody. not saying specific. I'm not saying specific to you. I'm just saying in general, do you think, you know, like, if a person is a, you know, like, if a person, can a person have cheating in their nature, like, you just that type of a person, or do you feel like people cheat because of a, a certain situation, like, this this is, this is what I would say, you know. This this is what I would say, right? For some people, chasing for men, and sad to say, now for a lot of females, chasing. Make this bigger, real quick. Chasing um, the opposite sex for sex is almost like sports. You get what I'm saying? Like you got you got certain people who they they literally want to have sex with as many females as they possibly can with no attention or any love connection. And in the process of that, they meet some females that are special. That's not just somebody you had sex with and I remember tomorrow, I'd be like, damn, she stole my hat. So sometimes the, the, the process of sport is changed, but that mentality don't go nowhere. So they could be 40 years old and that that thought process, as soon as they see a female is, I just want to have sex with her. Whereas they might, as they, some people like me now, I get older and I realize that right there ain't going to get you. Like Biggie said, more, more, more money, more problems. Also more females, more problems. Feel me? Once you start recognizing that, you start saying, well, damn, if me, let me stop having sex for sport, right? And, let, and this is my case. Let me start looking for a companion. So now, so now sex is the number one thing I'm looking for. So now, instead of me being in the clubs looking for a shorty, because I know she bought to have sex, you know what I'm saying? Instead of me looking for somebody that their mind is like, my mind, I just want to have sex. I'm looking for somebody that's thinking more on intellectual things, how to build our relationship, maybe kids. And once, once I get into that type of relationship, now I'm saying, okay, this ain't sport. And this is the other part I want to throw in there is a thing I call 50-50, right? If you don't want that person to do that to you, you shouldn't be doing that to them. The key to that, though, is being in a relationship with a person you respect enough. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. That, one, you don't want <coughs> her heart, but also you respect her so much that if she was to do that to you, you're going to lose it. So I think I think both of those things are important. One, finding some find a female that makes you think differently than the previous females before her. And then two, once you get in that, um, taking that relationship to that to a real relationship status where it's not just based off sex. What you think, Easy? I mean, I gotta like I like you. 
I pretty much agree. I'm in line with what you're saying. I mean, like I said, um, again, um, I can only, you know, speak from a personal perspective and, uh, you know, my body count is ridiculous and I don't see that bragging. I see that shit like shameless, like kind of, you know, shameful, like that shit crazy looking back. Um, I think sometimes like, damn, what if I walk by somebody or was talking to somebody and it was like, hey, he's uh, whatever. And I'm looking like, what is this motherfucker? I don't have sex with this motherfucker. Don't even, don't even remember. You know what I'm saying? Like, you that's think, ridiculous. Let me ask you, how many females you think you won't even remember if you walk past them that you had sex with? Ah, my nigga, because I was out here wilding. Now, I mean, like I said, I could just. No, if I could put the, the listen to me, if I could put the eyes, you know, the little eyes emoji right now, if I could put that up all over this fucking screen right now for everybody who's watching, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm just saying, yeah, I, I gotta keep it a hundred, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna come over here and all this shit. You know, I was, but I, again, and again, this, some people might be like, oh, this nigga just trying to justify. And again, like I said, there is no justification no matter what the situation is. But it was shit that I was lacking at home. So at an early age, you know what I'm saying? My, my pops left and then my mom's doing her thing and shit was crazy. I, I kind of converted the, the thought in my head, you know, from songs and shit like that, movies, that love was sex. So I wasn't necessarily trying to have sex, you know what I'm saying? I like to play ball, you know what I'm saying? Chill my niggas, but I found out that the dudes that was, it seemed cool to be doing, and even more, I just, in my mind, like, damn, okay, you have sex with somebody, you get a call the next day, perhaps, or the day after, you know what I'm saying? Damn, this should feel good. I'm from, from not having nobody to talk to at all. Why not have, like, three or four or five motherfuckers to talk to? You know what I'm saying? But that's selfish. But at the same time, I'm young, so that's what I'm saying. I have the advantage now of being older. Like, damn, that shit was dumb as hell. Because I truly believe, like I said, even though I was, you know, I was out there like that, my problem was, and we had this conversation before a long time ago. It's funny how shit come back. About you, I remember. I remember you told me one time, "E, you know what your problem is, nigga? You out here, you know what I'm saying, making love to everybody. You know what I'm saying you out here." And my thing is, well, I'm not trying to fuck nobody. I'm, I'm trying to make this person feel love because I want to get that love back in return. So I'm gonna go ahead and do shit. Hopefully that the person before wasn't doing so that they want to. You know what I'm saying, but. That's not what it's about, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. Even if I feel like we done had a good time, I done did all this and did that, took you out, bought you something, whatever the case may be, there's nothing that I can really give you for what you gave me. You know what I'm saying? You, you gave me that shit because you felt I was deserving. You know what I'm saying? You gave me that shit because you felt like I was worthy of it. I mean, I can't go buy another one of them shits. Like, you gave me your personal self. And I just took that shit at the time because I felt like, damn, I need this shit because I don't want to be alone. So... So, to answer your question, Tammy, I mean, it, it could be in you, but then you could also get, you know, smarter and be like, you know what, this shit ain't cool. So, some people can, some people can't. Um, I just rather, like I said, after now being on the other side of things, and not even it being a situation where it happened to me like, damn, I got cheated on, but just being left, like, oh, shit. Like I said, I can't imagine now having you know, slept with somebody and took some, you know, from them what they gave me that, you know, was shit. I can't, again, I can't get it from nowhere else. You trusted me with that. And then that's I left. That's a horrible, that's a and horrible feeling. It's a horrible feeling. Yeah, so it's a horrible what, feeling to find out the person that you, you know, like, that you, that's a horrible feeling. Like, to have in your stomach, that's a horrible feeling. So, Yo, you know, it's funny, that. though, too. The more, I guess it's just us as human beings because we done been through so much shit. It kills me when, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not like that, but I am human. When you trying to find something to prove they cheating on you, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You so much thinking like, ain't no way in hell they keeping it real, because of all the shit we done been through, all the females and men, you know what I'm saying? Like all the relationships, it's like, damn, I don't remember one relationship I was in where the person was completely faithful, whether it was just flirting. Or literally having sex with a motherfucker. So when you get a person like that, sometimes you be saying shit to that person to make them think like, "Nigga, why you think I'm fucking on?" You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know what I've been. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You you don't know how hard it is for me to really trust you because of the last three or four or five females I with. Like, not to be funny, y'all. Again, it's some past shit, but I was at the point where I was studying this shit. And part of me was saying that if a female, my thing was a female was dope, like she knew she was dope, 
she probably was going to cheat on you because she she was getting mad attention. I guess it was my, I was younger. So I started dating different type of females. And I was like, you know, she not as attractive. And if you treat her like, you know, the average dude won't treat her, she's probably ain't, she's probably going to treat you like a king. Wrong. Her ass <laughs> and she don't. <laughs> <laughs> her ass to cheat on you too you know what I'm saying so and that's what I was like you know what it's really a matter of finding the right person spending some quality time with that person building a rapport okay. then respecting each other and then committing to each other and if sex is great that's just a plus to go along with the relationship but if it's just based off sex to me 9 out of 10 times is not going to last because cause that's not enough. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> these days, females will buy a toy and look at you like you stupid. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely, like, to me, connection is important. Like Timmy said earlier, the the, 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 the want and, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the feeling of being wanted by the opposite sex, all that stuff, that emotional part thing, all that shit is important. Let me ask you a question. It's on the same topic. We got about like 10 more minutes. Let's talk about Jada real quick and well. Because it's the same shit. Now, me personally. That's, it's completely different as an entanglement. Well, let's not even use the I'm word. Playing, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Y'all were supposed to laugh at that. Yeah, I don't really like the word. I ain't going to lie. Can me. What, what, I Yo, they I, had a remix. Listen, hold on. Before we get into it, they had a remix, a song. People got too much time on the internet. Yo, I see Will Smith. I'm gonna send it to y'all after. No, I see Will Smith staring in the car, in the car window while <laughs> Jada Pinkett was with homie in the car and getting it in. <laughs> yo, the internet is fucking. Yo, hard, niggas ain't man. got no heart, yo. Niggas ain't got no heart. But my yeah, question is, all. um, all right. So first of all, let's first let's attack Will, and then we go and attack Jada. Okay. Do Will have any reason to be mad? Because I know y'all know about his stories and his bodies during him and Jada Pickett's relationship. So do he actually have a reason to be mad? Because he seems salty. He seems like he's about to go fuck Trump's daughter or somebody to get back at Jada. No, let me see this. This, this, is my, this is my opinion on it. Why he get to go first? He had his he had his hand up. Because you just said why you always gotta go first. <laughs> I'm just saying go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, E. Can't give them what they want, man. Yeah, no, you can't, Doug. They'll Never. So so I look at it like this. We don't know all the ins and outs, but be a hypothetical here, if they did have an agreement or understanding, which, you know, people with, you know, some people with money have situations like that, people without money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big love. So, if they had an agreement, I say the only reason he got a reason to be salty, if he has any ground to stand on, is because she was sloppy with her shit. Like, it's rumors about what we'll do. Ain't nobody ever been on the record talk about yeah, no pictures and nothing like that. Yeah, talk, nobody feel talking. me. So, so whoever he doing or whatever he doing, and again, like I said, you can clearly see that they, you know, they don't really get mad about that shit. To have the shit out like this, you know, what I'm saying you can't be doing that. Like I, I already agreed with you, motherfucker. Now you're gonna be messy too. You can't be doing that. Right, 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 right. So, so, so as far as oh, you're fucking with somebody else. Again, if that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. You could be, you could feel some type of way, like, dang, that nigga look better than me if that's how you feel, but you can't really get mad. But to uh, let the shit get out of the box and now you got us both looking crazy, the kids, anything. Come on, man. Who, gotta, who, who can Will Smith? So, wait, hold on. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I go? Ahead, go ahead, T. So there's long been rumors, and this is what I believe, that they're swingers and that they have an open relationship. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, to be honest, what I think happened, because August did say that Will gave permission, and they're denying that. I think it's easier for them to come to the table and explain that Jada had an affair and admit that than to admit that they're fucking swingers and Will gave permission, because I think that's really what happened. You and think she tried to be seen in that light, though? I, this they was, they had pictures everywhere. It was pictures with him and Will. 
the way they raise their children is very different. They teach them very different values. They're actually no. Scientologists. Hold on, no. let me finish. What, what they live a her. completely different lifestyle and their money also perpetuates how they can live that lifestyle. So again, they're very much in the public eye with a very wholesome portrayed image. So I think it's easier for them to explain and say that Jada had an affair with I think Caucus. it's less easy. I don't think, I think that whole shit was a show. And I think they really had an open relationship and August was in his feelings and came to the table and said what he said. Exactly. And now they got to say something because there's, there's too much there and they got to they gotta play it somehow. And that's what but I think. She not about to fall on the sword for that shit, though. Who? Who? She not about to come out here and say I had an affair and then had oh, a Oh, no. Oh, no. She, no, I'm against, saying I think they had an arrangement. Like it was allowed. Like Will was letting her. I don't, I don't think it's I don't think it's like that neither. I'm gonna tell you what I think. No, it is. I do. And they're swingers, and they've long been said that they are swingers, and it was some freaky shit going on with them. And that's what now I'm you know, you know. If so, check in and agree with your girl, please. You know, when it comes to swinging, that's a two way party. So that's an agreement. That's an agreement. That's, that's, that's what August said. But August said it. August yeah, I'm, said, I'm August. August. Why he gonna lie? Why he gonna lie? Why he not gonna say the same anything? reason why he even reason why we even talking about this is a nah. thing. Like nah. think about like this, like keep it one hundred. Nah, it shouldn't even be out in the open, right? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. So, so, it shouldn't. So, so, it shouldn't. So, 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 but listen, but listen, but they gotta they gotta spin it somehow, Mike. And but not really. And Will Smith, why did they fuck? But it was an affair. Watch this. They can't say they swingers. Watch this. If Jada and Will Smith don't do okay. that show, we're not talking about this. Let's keep it 100. If Jada they and had Will Smith, to. It was too much in the media. August no. had pictures of them together. August got pictures of them and but Will. Listen, like, listen, T, T, if, listen I, to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm telling you. If, T, night, if, 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 um, if, if, if me and Ezell if me and Ezell about you and you don't respond, it's just our opinion is just us talking about you now if if Ezo say something about you and then me and you start talking that can happen that way but that i don't debate. think it was in this case that can happen that way but it wasn't in this case but my That's point to you so listen because so, of the I, lifestyle that they live that because of the lifestyle you, listen, that they live see, i'm listen, done what, listen to what i'm trying so, to tell I'm you done. you take away that conversation between will smith sitting at the table with his wife Talking about the situation, you take that event away, we're not having this conversation. And not only that, because we but don't they know did, what they but they did, did, but they did have that why? conversation. Why? But they did have that conversation. Why, why would they do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's tell because you, again, not, they had to address it because it was so too much in the media. Not, you're, you're not hearing us, though. We're not disagreeing with you. That's not what we're doing here. What we're saying is the only thing we disagreeing with is you saying she should just take the fall and come out and say, I had a fit. And what I'm trying to say is, she not about to take an L like that. So instead, what they did was, they set it up like this. We was broke up. You know what I'm saying? Some shit happened. And Will was like, I thought I was never fucking with you again. Right, okay, yeah, you're right. They okay. had that so, in there. You're right. So, 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 but so, I'm so, saying, I believe the whole thing was a front because for how they live. What I'm yeah, saying, but, but nobody's disagreeing with that. But what I'm saying, Mike is who, disagreeing with I, that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing, disagreeing with it. it. No, listen though, Tim, because you ain't still let me finish. I'm not. We only got like a couple of minutes. I'm not disagreeing with the swinging part. What I'm saying is, Will Smith ain't get her no permission to go sleep with this nigga. Okay. One, okay, I'm done conversation. Okay, I, I can't two, listen no more. And I'm done. Two, I don't know. The issue is that don't make no sense, Mike. That don't make no sense. Do you really think swinging is an agreement? Did. Swinging is an agreement and allowed to step outside your so relationship and have right. sex hey, with hey, other hey, people. Hold up, hey, Tammy, hold right. up. Are you telling me swingers? It's a, it's a lifestyle. I get that. I get that. So you telling me that you don't told me you bought to sleep with Ezel? You think I'm gonna get mad when I find all y'all slept together? Not Listen, if we have an agreement. Right. Not if we have an right. agreement. Right. Right. So now, obviously, right. Will Smith right. is angry. Mike, listen. No, this is what I'm saying. There's been stuff that I've even read where, you know what I'm saying, they both said if they have like a, a co-star or something, I and they need to, that. you know, they need to. Yes. So, so they have an understanding is what I'm saying. So, again, I'm agreeing with Timmy. They do, I believe that there is an underlying understanding. The problem is the reason why the nigga mad, to answer your question, is because not because she fucked with the nigga because this nigga don't fuck with bitches too. The problem is she let her shit get out. It's in like, the media well, now. 
Will, like, yeah, it's yo, in the media now. Will, they gotta explain will, it. Yes, Ezo. Yes, Ezo. Will, yes. Will, 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 yes. Yo, will, like, yo, you you know who I what I do, who I did it with. And all now it's stuff. ugly and messy. But, and the only person know that though is us. We good. We in here. We done made a pack. But you, girl, how the fuck? Ain't no bitches coming out the woodwork saying I fuck Will Smith. None we of them. And I bet you that. But you got dudes see. coming out saying that they was fucking with us. So we, we actually see. Like, no, we oh, won. If, if, we if won. Will Smith, if Will Smith would have went on live without Jada Pickett and said, "Man, ain't nothing going on between me and Jada. We straight." Would we be having this conversation? Yo, like Holmes said. Holmes said. They both, like I said, they set it up so lovely. And I think this is the part where I think home is keeping it real. Because home ain't seemed like he was fake to me. Like you said, he seemed like he was upset. He is home upset. Like, so, 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 so the thing was, he, she said it was a time we wasn't talking. And we'll back that up. I thought I was never fucking with you again. Which is already let you know. He, he was doing his so thing. So we're not talking about swinging about right now. But then. I don't hold think on, they on, meant on, that, though. I don't think they meant on, that. that. I think that listen, whole shit was a front, though. Listen, we got to go. It's two so, minutes left. That, we got to say bye-bye. I just wanted to feel good. But that whole Will, shit was a front. No, Jada said that shit. Listen, Jada Doc, Will Will a Ho, these niggas some old ass. Some no, that was some that was niggas. some foul ass shit Jada did being a, a grown ass woman and fucking with August and that's her son. That's her son boy. That was some foul Never ass mind. shit. The, that was some foul ass shit. shit. And that's a hundred. So the end on this, like the, the that whole, was some foul ass whole, shit. The whole the whole beginning of this, we said there should never be a reason. Why you do this if you really love a person and y'all committed to each other? So regardless of what y'all want to say, even if y'all swinging, you need to respect each other. Because if y'all wanted y'all business out there, it wouldn't be no issue. If y'all don't want y'all business out there, y'all should respect each other. Don't be take don't be taking pictures with niggas. Don't even be doing crazy got shit agreements. with even niggas. Even got agreements. You gotta you gotta be you gotta be yo, strict. You gotta yo, be respectful. How many Answer this question. And again, if you got them, please somebody call in, show us, post them up. But how many do how many pictures have you seen with Will willingly? You know what I'm saying? Versus her. And that's why I'm saying the nigga mad. Like, yo, come on, man. We gotta fucking understand it, which is what we all saying at the same time. You but you out right. here, but you got our shit out here looking. Yo, crazy. we gotta say we gotta say bye-bye. Go ahead, E say your pieces. Go ahead, T say your pieces. We still got a minute. Amen. And I just want to say um, thank you to everybody for watching. And Punk Ass E was about to take my turn. <laughs> Thanks for everybody um, for watching. This is Tan Tan. Don't listen to hey. these motherfuckers. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, shit. Yeah. What up, Easy? It's your girl. She said we don't know what we're talking about, but we agreeing with her. That's crazy. So, she like, got well, drunk. Like, Timmy has a little tipsy over there. She had a little beer. She had a little tipsy. At first, she said, why well, I got to go first. Now, every time I went first, she was mad I went I'm first. I'm just being difficult. Hey, listen, y'all. Check the, and that's why the web, web series. Check the <laughs> podcasts. We got a lot of stuff going on on the YouTube channel. Um, we just did a show with my boy Millie, an interview. Go check that. Hey, listen, we're going to be back next Thursday. Another topic. I already got the topic in mind, but I'm not going to tell y'all yet. We did have a guest today. Uh, hopefully, we get it again. But again, it's your peoples. Thank y'all. And we's out. Say y'all hey, pieces. Yo, I, see, I, I see you got the Patrick Mahomes.